Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, good morning. Good morning, Father. We are now having the second day of our Novena, novena Masses. At habang ating ipinagdiriwang ang Novena Mass ngayon, ang ating inang berhen ay umiikot sa lahat ng parokya dito sa Vicariate of Our Lady of the Rosary. Tanda ng kanyang pagmamahal sa atin, pagtulong sa atin. In this Mass, we will pray for the intentions of those of us as to pray for them. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ to mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is king. He is robbed in majesty. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor, splendor robe. Robe is the Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord is King, His robe in majesty. And He has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old, from everlasting. You are, O Lord. The Lord is King, His robe in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is King, He is true in majesty. Please stand. The Son of Man must be lifted up so that everyone who believes in Him may have eternal life.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes. But you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this. Amen, amen, I say to you. We speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things, and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in Him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga ho sa inyong lahat. Ang paghingaraw ay patunay na ang isang tao ay buhay. Simbula, simbolo raw ito ng banal na espiritu. In today's gospel, Jesus speaks of the Holy Spirit that gives new life. He talks about the wind and the breath, which are symbols of the Holy Spirit that brings life hangin at paghinga. Subukan yung hingahan yung katabi nyo mabubuhay yan. Hingaan o hingahan, wag lang hingian. No kinarawan mo tan ay ang piano mangkulis ng ni itsura to. Linawaan mo ag mo aalaan lambengat Hayaan mong kusang magbigay. Pag inalok ang kamay, magpasalamat ka. Huwag asamin pati braso niya. Pag inalok ang braso, magalak ka. Huwag asamin ang balikat niya. Pag inalok pati ang balikat, kay sarap at kay ganda ng buhay. Matuto kang magbigay ng buhay, wag lang maghanap ng pangkabuhayan. Tumataas ang presyo ng mga bilihin, tumataas ang rate ng COVID contamination, tumataas ang bilang ng COVID casualties, Tinataguyod ang mga panukalang lalong magpapahirap sa karamihan. Tinatangkilik ang masasamang gawain laban sa kalooban ng Diyos. At sinasabing tayo ay mga buhay na Kristiyano. Huwag na huwag kakalimutan na ang tanging pagkakakilalanan sa tunay na Kristiyanong buhay at nagbibigay ng buhay ay pag si Kristo lamang ang ating itinataas, itinataguyod, at tinatangkilik. For Jesus, like the serpent in the desert, will be lifted up so that those who believe in Him may have life that is everlasting. Tunay kang Kristiyanong buhay, pag marunong kang magtiwala, at hindi mapanghinala. Pagkatiwalaan natin ang isa't isa. Ihinto muna 
ang panghihinala. Pag ikay nang hinala, ikay nang hihila ng kapwa pababa. Pag ikay nagtiwala malamang, masaya at magandang buhay ang iyong mapapala. Hindi tayo nag-iisa sa dikaing maging masaya sa buhay. Kasama natin ang inang Berhen Maria na sa puso't damdamin niya ay laging nagbibigay at nagtitiwala. At ang kanyang pagbabahagi at pagtitiwala ay bunga ng kanyang malalim at malakas at matatag na pananampalataya sa Diyos. Siya nawa. Amen. Unalagay tayo na niya. Even to Mary, life was no simple task, but she had faith in God, and so she could remain full of courage in all circumstances. Let us too pray with faith to God who loves us, and let us say, Lord, make our faith grow. Lord, make our faith grow. For a courageous and loyal faith, which the Church needs in the confusing circumstances of these times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our faith grow. For resolute strength and perseverance, for all those who commit themselves to give peace to the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our faith grow. For the many whose faith is tested by adversity and suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our faith grow. For the many young people who are disappointed by the church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our faith grow. For the sick and the handicapped, for those dying this very hour, for dead people dear to us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our faith grow. God, you are good and you want to make all people happy. But when we are sorely tested, it is difficult to have faith. With the help of Mary, we ask you for much faith, for joy and courage for ourselves and for others. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the house of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Restituto, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Where the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please me. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the, of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Please stand. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And uh, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Please kneel down.
Let us pray the Oratio Imperata for the Archdiocese of Linga in the Gupa. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians, for the increase of priestly vocations in the Church in Linga in the Gupa. Let us answer together, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation, Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds, Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on, on our young men seeking their vocation in life, Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians, being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your son who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace then. Nalagay din namin. Sa inyo mga nagdala ng mga religious articles, bring uh, this out and uh, for the blessing. We make the prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now the blessing for the rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and uh, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary, Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, Atsikayanami. Good morning, Father. <laughs>